What is going on, YouTube? This is Black Bigot with today's Tuesday Q&A for the, what the hell is today? The 17th. Uh, if you have a question for me, I'll answer it on the next Q&A. TacoBellCriminal at gmail.com. TacoBellCriminal at gmail.com. Please, please put Tuesday Q&A in the subject box. All right. Uh, starting with the first question from <laughs> first name Nig, last name Gur, uh, sorry for the dick pic, but what is your favorite city in Texas? Uh, don't worry about it, little buddy. Uh, favorite city in Texas? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I got to say, I, it used to be Dallas, but Dallas is turning into a dump. Um, I almost kind of want to say San Antonio, but San Antonio is kind of a little small. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just go with Dallas. Why not? Uh, thank you, Mr. Gurr. Uh, next question from Rona from the East. Hey, is that little dude Jaden? What was his name? Is he still bothering you? I forgot his name. Uh, he's so fake. Hey, Black Bigot, would you be down to go to the Astro World Festival 2020 in Scrooston, Texas? If not, would you come ball with us November 24th at the Cedar Creek Park before you leave Texas? Thanks. Stay woke. Uh <laughs> Well, as, as you know, Rona, I haven't been in Texas in quite some time, but uh, I don't know where Scrooston is, but uh, if I get back to Texas, would I ball with you guys? Uh, yeah, I might. I don't know. Just keep keep uh, keep uh, holding me uh, when I get back to Texas sometime in March or something. Thank you for the question, Rona from the East. And tell your friend I said... All right, very good. Uh, next question from Mike Reese. Uh, hey, Black Bigot. Why'd you rub baby oil all over my grandpa's ass cheeks and smush them together? Anyways, thanks for the awesome content. I hope you answer my question. Why did I rub baby oil all over your grandpa's ass cheeks? Um, because he asked me to. I uh, just want to help the old man out. He has a lot of liver spots all over his butt. It's like connect the dots. It actually it made a unicorn. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, he's a really nice guy. Uh, and he bought me a sandwich, too, when we were done. I like that guy. Uh, tell him I said hello. I hope he's doing okay. Next question from... Let's see. Jasper Bale 20. Jasper, Jasper Abel 20. What are the good things and bad things about living in a van? Also, why did you drop out of school in the seventh grade? Well, I'll address that in a, in a video in the near future. Um, what are the good things and bad things about living in a van? You don't, uh, good thing is you don't have to pay rent. You can go wherever you want. Um, ultimate freedom. Uh, bad things, you're not getting laid very much. Uh, kind of cramped space. Uh, you don't have your stuff. You know, like if you want to ride a motorcycle, you can because it's in storage in Las Vegas. Uh, don't get to see your friends very much. Uh, yeah, there's good and bad about living in a van, but to all those who want to try it, go ahead and give it a try. If you don't like it, you don't like it. That's it. Just look for a van that costs 1500 bucks, a minivan, and, and hit the open road. Thank you for the question, uh, Jasper. Okay, next question from... Is this a question? Uh, no, it's not a question. Um, let's see. Is this a question? Um, from Trey Jones, I just saw your November 19th Q and A was seeing when you would be in Phoenix. Uh, it's a little bit late to the party, buddy. I'm a little bit behind on these questions. I was already in Phoenix. Uh, I'll be back in Phoenix, uh, probably end of February. Uh, look out for me. Trey Jones is in the building. Uh, let me see. Uh, Uh, what's up, man? This is from Sergeant Chief. Uh, what's up, man? If you're coming to Phoenix, uh, I I would I got you on a burger and beer at Buffalo Wild Wings. You could also do an interview on my RV as I'm living in my RV. Let me know if you need anything like sleeping man, sleeping mat, fan stuff like that because I'll get you something. Anyways, continue the good content and fuck Isaac. Oh, that was his name. And you're correct. Anyone with the name Jaden cannot fight. His name was Isaac. Yeah, not Jaden. Yeah, Jaden's can't fight. Yeah, I yeah I suck. I'm sorry. I remember now. Yeah, your yeah Rona, your friend uh, I, Isaac. Uh, yeah, he tell him to tell him to go fucking eat eat some balls. That guy sucks. That's why his name is Isaac. Have you have, has anyone ever like met a cool guy named Isaac? No, nah, because he sucks. Get out of here, uh, Sergeant Chief. Uh, do me a favor, bro. If you're watching this, um, 
Just email me again your information, bro. Uh, if you live in an RV, that'd be kind of a cool interview. I want to start interviewing people, so let me know. Thank you for the question. Uh, fuck Isaac. That's all I got to say about that little fucking crapper. Um, let's see. Uh, next question from... Uh, gee, I hope I don't run into a guy named Jaden that can actually fight. That'd be really scary. Uh, from Tay, the green light. Uh, what's going on, Black Bigot? My question was, when are you coming to North Carolina and cre keep grinding? Much love. Uh, North Carolina, I should be out there. Uh, that's a good one. I'm definitely going out there to North Carolina. I got a buddy out there, uh, Drew. I'd like to go visit. Um, so... Uh, that's, a, that's a place I don't get to too much. I don't know, maybe May or June or something like that, sometime in the summertime. Uh, look out for me. Uh, Tay Degree Light is in the building. Probably wants to kill me or something. Uh, anyways, uh, next question from uh, Tommy Cavallo. Hey, Tommy Cavallo. Hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, you should come over here. Oh, we can go get some burgers over there. Uh, my name is Tommy Cavallo from Long Island. Yeah. Uh... I wanted to ask you if you've ever been to New York or Long Island, for that matter. Did you like it, and would you come back? P.S. Next time you come, let me know, and I'll treat you to some great pizza of my paisan and from Tommy Cavallo. Hey, my regards. My regards. Uh, yeah, I, I was on Long Island. I stayed. This, I spent, like, July and August in uh, Brentwood and Levittown and all that right there. Uh, okay, my opinion about Long Island, not nearly as bad as New York City at all. Um, I can see myself going out there and living in my van on Long Island for a month. I wouldn't go crazy at all. Um, it's it's okay. It's not nearly as bad. I got a, a, a bit of a different uh, impression of New York after being on Long Island. for. It's not that bad at all. Um, now, would I live there? Of course, God no, because it's too cold. And it does have that trapping feeling that you know that you just can't drive out of there and just go up the way. You got to go drive all the way down the LIE, through the city, out past the damn toll. And it has that trapping feeling. Other than that, it's okay. And I will be out there this summer. My goal is to uh, be on Long Island uh, for a week or two. So, yeah, pizza's on you, buddy. Hey, Mr. Cavallo. What's up, bro? Hey, uh, do me a favor, Mr. Cavallo. Um, email me your contact information. And then I'll save it on my thing. When I get out there, I'll hit you up. Thank you very much. He probably wants to kill me, too. Uh, it's probably one of Wes Watson's uh, uh, minions. Uh, next question from uh, Andy Reid. Uh, hey, Black Bigot, ever think about coming to North Carolina? Well, didn't I just answer that damn question? Uh, if you do, you should visit the Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Charlotte area, and we could possibly get a bite and smoke sometime. Uh, Mr. Reed, well, thank you. Um, I just answered that question from the previous question. Uh, I don't smoke, but I will definitely uh, eat your food. Uh, keep tabs with me, guys. Like, I, I'm not, I don't hit people up when I get in the area. Like, hey, man, I'm here. What's up? I mean, hit me up. If I want to hang out, I do. If I don't, I don't. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for the questions. Uh, Mr. Reed. Okay, next question from... Labum Watts. Uh, hey, bigot. My friend Twin Meister just got shipped off to boot camp. What are your thoughts on the Marine Corps? Are they raw or twin? Also, is Jimmy the Wig's hair real? Or is he just trying to relive his glory days? Anyways, Andre, Jake's dad, is outside Silk City waiting for us across the street from Silk City. Knott's Berry Farm's a big place. Thousands of people I need to know exactly where you are. Okay, um, uh, so so let's address the first question uh, from this confusing email. Um, what are your thoughts on the Marine Corps? Hey, listen, uh, they're needed. They're they're America's fighting force. Those are the guys that when they go on the ground, they got the most dangerous job. Like a lot of guys, when they get shot and killed, it's the Marines because they're just like the ones that just go in there with guns blazing. Very dangerous job, man. They'll, they'll toughen you up and they'll make a man out of you. I tried to join the Marine Corps when I was 24, but I had too much of a criminal record. They wouldn't let me in. But uh, much respect to anybody in the military. Uh, any any branch, Army, Navy, uh, the Marines, Air Force. Well, not really the Air Force. I think those guys are kind of pussies. But, I, I mean, you know, they're cool, you know, but it's like you guys aren't like really, you know. I mean, it's like the, it's like you guys are like police. Like, I, I don't know. Is this weird? Like the Air Force, like get the fuck out of here. I mean, yeah, you guys are needed, but you guys are flying drones like in like in in your like neighborhood. Get out of here! All right. Um, uh, is Jimmy the Wig's hair real? Jimmy the Wig. <laughs> what is this? A mafiosi guy? Hey, Jimmy the Wig. Well, if they call him Jimmy the Wig, I'm I'm gonna say that his hair is probably not real. 
But uh, tell Jimmy I said hello. Jimmy the wig. Unless he has big ass hair. You know, some guys, they got this big ass hair. Uh, he could be like an old guy. Maybe he's 60 years old, but he has like the hairline of a 20 year old. I've seen guys like that. Jimmy the wig. He probably is. Probably a wig. Um, uh, who knows? Uh, anyways, Andre Jake's dad is outside Soak City waiting for us. Okay, so uh, Jake's dad, Andre, he's waiting for you guys. So go ahead and hopefully you hopefully you didn't get kidnapped by anybody in a van or anything. Uh, thank you for the questions. Yeah, they're uh, very confusing. Um, let's see. What is this? I somebody sent me pictures and they say i have dreams of you stealing me from my not legally married husband what the hell i never even seen this huh did i wait i think i did hey baby what's going on i would love to steal you from your not legally married husband I just uh, talked about your email on my Q&A. You should check it out. It'll be at the 11 minute marker or so. You're pretty cute. Give me a holler. 972-765-8972. Thanks. Bye. All right. Very good. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't see that. Yeah. If, uh, hit me up. Uh, a hashtag your husband's got to go. Uh, let's see. Next question from Raybone. Will you listen to a beat in your van if I send you one right now? Well, that was last month, but yeah, send me the beat. And uh, I, I, I still got to do that video, like like talking about SoundCloud rappers. So just let me know. I'm going to shout that that video out pretty soon here. Uh, question from George Rogers 635. Like 635, like Interstate 635, like wait, in Texas. Would you rather have the smallest dick but be able to bench press 900 pounds or have a big dick but hardly be able to even bench press 100? Well, first of all, I take I take problem with that uh, question because right now I could barely bench press 100 pounds and I'm not even going to lie. I'm weak as fuck. I am weak as fuck, guys. I cannot bench press. I don't even think I, I think I can't bench press 100 pounds. I don't, I'm not even lying. Um, But why in the hell would I need? First of all, my dick's already small. Why does it need to be any smaller? Why do I need to bench press 900 pounds? I don't need to bench press the front end of a car. That's stupid. I'll take the big I'll take the big dick because right now I can't even bench press 100 pounds. And so if you're just going to give me a free big dick, then I'll take it. That's an easy question, dude. Come on, man. I'll take that big dick. Anyway, thank you for the question. Um Okay, he has another uh Thoughts on model. Thoughts on this model. I don't, can you guys see her? Um, average looking girl. She has a nice backside for sure. I, I like her boots. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. What's going down? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh next question from Luciano Casanova 248. What's up, man? Uh Dove for men or old spice? Um I don't buy either because I can't afford them. I only use uh, uh the uh, power stick from Dollar Tree. So if I had to pick one, I don't know, that black guy on the old spice commercials, he looks pretty cool. I'll go I'll go with the old spice because brothers are Brothers are always cool and white guys are not, right? Or something like that. Okay, next question from Lee Tallman. Um, is that a public enemy tattoo? Also, did you see Ask Means YouTube reaction to your videos? Uh, yeah, I. Uh, this is not a public enemy tattoo. It's a, it's a tattoo of a... Um, you guys don't know what that is? Um, I might I might actually do a video on why I got this tattoo, so so just wait for that. Uh Ask Mean. Yeah, that dude's pretty fucking funny. I ain't gonna lie. He roasted me pretty good. Uh he's he's a funny dude. Um 
you guys need to go check that dude out for sure. Uh, I'll put the link to his channel in the description box. Uh, check that motherfucker out. That dude's going to be, uh, he's, he's going to get a lot of subscribers, man. He's a pretty funny dude. Um, but I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, ass me. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what, bro. Hey, you're pretty funny, right? Are you fucking hilarious? Are you pretty funny? Hey, how about I shove this motherfucking flare gum right up your motherfucking nose and set that nappy ass beard on fire? How about I do that, bruh? Ha, ha, you talking all this shit? Oh, you do your Popeyes. Oh, this nigga duper that fuck. All right, nigga, how you gonna look with no nappy ass beard on your motherfucking face, homie? I don't even know you. I don't even fucking know you. You know what I'm saying? But you coming at me. You coming at me wrong, bruh. That's some, that's some real ass shit. You fucking with me, Mr. Buck Fighter? You smoke crack, don't you? I'm about to shot this mother. Riverside, Uptown, Point Dexter, nigga. What? I'm just kidding, bro. Hey, you good with my book, bro? Hey, we need to. We, I don't know where you live. I don't know where you live, but we need to hang out. Uh, that's my motherfucking nigga ass me to the building, motherfucker. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Um, the next question from Mana Buns. Uh, hey, Black Bigot, love the videos. Quick question. I met this girl at the library at school, and I got her number. Side note, she got a thick ass. And I loved how you spelled thick with no K because I guess you're a crip or something. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, I called her and asked her out to go on a date next week, Saturday. She said, yes, I legit don't know what to do for our first date or where to take her any tips. Damn, man. I See, questions like that, man, you need to, you need to like, you need to be like, yo, this is priority, bro. Like, okay, if you guys got questions that you feel like that needs to be answered ASAP, put like priority in the, in the subject and I'll look at it. And if it's a priority, I'll put it up ahead. Sorry, man. So this, this, this motherfucker already went out the whole month, uh, a month ago. I mean, this, this nigga could be in jail for, for murder, for all we know. I wonder what happened. Um, I'll tell you what, man of buns, uh, do me a favor. Text my phone, 972-765-8972. Text my phone and just be like, hey, this is man of buns. Uh, let me talk to you. Let me call you. I, I want to see what went on on that date. Um, I mean, I can't give you any more tips. Uh, all I could give to young man out, men out there, young men, you know, when it comes to dating women, uh, don't try to fuck on the first date and don't even try to fuck on the second date. Even if she's like, like maybe she wants to fuck, just kind of at least wait two, three weeks. Don't be trying to fuck on the first date because she ain't going to like your ass. Unless she's a holding fucker. Uh, I wonder what kind of ass she has. You should, you should send me pictures uh, to the phone of her, of her big, big ass. Well, but okay, because you're a crip. Uh, thank you, cut. For the uh, questions. Uh, by the way, uh, one more thing. I don't know how old you were. That's why I wanted to ask you because there's there's different uh, things that you, that go about in terms of like how old you are, what you should do, so forth and so on. Thank you for the question. Okay, guys, that is it for another Tuesday Q and A. Eighteen minutes into the video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. If you have a uh, question for the next time, Taco Bell Criminal at Gmail dot com. Taco Bell Criminal at Gmail dot com.